can't survive playing football like that, good football. And then we, we feel like we have a pretty good football team here, but we can't, we can't win games when you play like that. It's very difficult. Hey, we'd all like to turn the page on this BYU game, right? ASU's first loss of the season wasn't all due to penalties, but the 16 flags that cost the Sun Devils 121 yards didn't help. If you're a good football team, you're going to average maybe four to five fouls a game. Last year we were that. Since I've been here, we've been that. Uh, now that number is, is, is catastrophic. On a team that returns almost its entire defense and a majority of offensive starters, one would expect the opposite from a discipline standpoint. <laughs> the penalties weren't the only issue, though. You're going to need uh, some explosive plays, and they can't all come from the running game or from Jaden with his legs, right? I mean, you need some explosive passes. Andre Johnson's 58-yard reception in the first quarter was the longest play from scrimmage for the Sun Devil offense. Curtis Hodges' 28-yard catch was the second longest game, but these dynamic passing plays were few and thin versus the Cougs. This team always competes. It leaves everything they have on the grass. They don't ever leave the field and go, hey, man, we, we didn't, you know, no, 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 no. I never worry about that. that that's the least of my worries as a head coach, of them playing hard, playing physical, competing. We didn't play smart. And we gotta, we gotta get that fixed. ASU begins conference play on Saturday against Colorado, and Herm is hoping that means a clean slate. Our schedule is uh, right now is, is we don't have a win or a loss in Pac-12, and, and the season starts uh, this Saturday. With no clear front runner in the Pac-12 South, a fresh start is exactly what this team needs. Pac-12 is one of those conferences that it just seems like. Uh, when we get into conference play, anything can happen. And I think when we have nine games left, they're all packed 12 games. So that's going to kind of dictate uh, what type of team we are going forward. In Tempe, Zach Keenan, Devil's Digest. <laughs>